everyone, welcome to the Sticky Samosa. This is Shika. Welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Shika and I do functional planning spreads in my passion planner and I also do some budgeting videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber so you can follow my content and make sure you hit the bell for notifications for when my videos go live. Today's video is going to be another weekly passion planner plan with me for the first full week of August. So we are planning from the 3rd to the 9th of August. I will link up my previous passion planner videos up here so you can just watch them whenever you fancy. And a quick disclaimer, I just looked at my August monthly spread, which is this, and I was using an incorrectly dated spread to Date this so all of these dates are out and I'm quite annoyed about it because the video is already up and this is my actual planner this isn't like a spare planner that I used to test so I'm not sure if I'm going to refilm this I will most likely redecorate this probably print off another monthly spread from the passion planner site and then I'll probably stick it over this because I need the dates to be correct so yeah, just a little disclaimer there. Any of the stickers that you see in this video are going to be linked in the description box below. I have an Etsy shop, which is also called Sticky Samosa. So let's get right into it. So before we start laying down stickers, I'll just take you through what the kit looks like. And this is the kit. It is, I'm finding it hard to describe. It's it's like a cross between like industrial and nature I would say just the main pattern is a leaf pattern in this gorgeous green and there are little hints of blue and then the second pattern is like a splatter terrazzo and I really love the colors there are a lot of colors in this one kit and all of these kits you can use whenever you want. It's quite different to what I have already up in the shop. So yeah, go check out my Etsy shop if you want to pick this up for yourself. I ship within the UK and also to the US. Let's get right into it. I will be using the kit, this kit mainly, and then some script stickers, which you can also pick up in my shop. We'll start off with laying down the week headers first. And then for the weekend strips, I always do them in a different color. Okay, so at this point, the basic bits of the kit are down. We've got all the strips down, we've got the headers, the weekly sidebar, which I like to keep the quote exposed, the project headers and the space of infinity header. And then at this point, let's just check in to see what we've got left, which is basically everything but the washi and the sidebar. And so now is where you can really put your own touch on how you want to organize and plan your week. I am currently on furlough. So my focus right now is home, YouTube and Etsy. And if there are any work related things that come up, I can just make a note of it in the sidebar. And the layout that has been working for me is to split each day into three. So it's YouTube, Etsy, and then home. Home is a very small part of my planner day just because hubby has taken on a lot of the tasks. That means that I can really focus on getting my Etsy shop up and running and also focusing on new designs and stuff and filming. So these are my script stickers. You can pick these up in my Etsy shop. This is what they look like when you buy them. And I have a lot of scripts, I think 20 scripts possibly in total. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down all of the YouTube ones and then I'll do Etsy and then I'll do home at the end. So this will be a time lapse. I ran out of YouTube stickers, so I'm just gonna pull from my inventory. Okay, so I've put the script stickers down. On Wednesdays, I like to actually put in some planning time. 
So here there's not much space, so what I will do is I will break out into the space of infinity section, which is great because now that I've taken away my habit tracker, I've got actual area to jot in and I will fill this in based on my content planner that will set up and then I will allocate which days I would like to do what. So the next is put in my YouTube stickers. This isn't part of the kit. This is something I created just when, when I got into the sticker stuff. So I'm using up the colors I have and they don't match perfectly, but that's okay with me. The focus of this video is on the weekly kit and then I'm just using the stickers I have to decorate it. These are the only stickers that aren't part of the actual kit along with all of these scripts and the rest is all part of the weekly kit. So. I'm just going to quickly note down my filming schedule for this particular week and so I need to film my fashion planner plan with me video 17 and then October monthly plan with me and you guys might think that this you know this is the first week of August why am I looking at October it's because I need to get there. The October kit will be releasing the following week. So I like to make sure that there is a video to show how I use the stickers in the kit. And then we'll also be filming a budget video, which is the first week of August check-in. And then Wednesday, I wanna keep mainly free. So let's figure out, I'll put in, I find it easier to put in the sections you know are happening for certain anything uncertain till the end so you've figured out your schedule a bit more and then this one I want to keep Wednesday free and on Thursday I have to film this video so I guess Tuesday is also going to be another film and edit the same day video so now I'm going to put in a lot of checklists I use these for everything and let's think how many I need. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need eleven full lists and the lists come in a set of four and it is a bit squishy because it's one bullet point per line. So I might change that going forward but it obviously means I have to offer fewer of these. So I need 11, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I've got 12 of these and then for the home ones, I just give myself, I cut the checklist in half so I will have more than enough. And I won't make the same mistake as last week. I don't need a checklist here because these are my focuses for the day. So let's just crack on and I will probably time lapse this as well. So see you in a second. As I mentioned, I will be cutting the checklist in half, the remaining ones for my home section. It looks like I'm gonna be short on one day. So let's see what I can do to make it cohesive. So then we've run out of these boxes, but I've got these little dot ones. So I'm just going to, and then I'll just put the spare one back on the sheet to use whenever. For me, the bare bones of the spread is done. I just need to go ahead and fill these sections in. And let's have a look. So I like to have a to buy section and uh, either a don't forget or a to do. So let's use, I'm going to do a to do section and then I'll have a to buy, which happens to be the same color as the header, but that's okay. And then up here, I like to do a little mini flag and this week. And then do, 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 do. I have a don't forget section. Okay, sorry, my camera cut off. And then another mini flag and a don't forget sticker. And I used up the other half of the dotted checklist in my weekly sidebar. And then I also have really like using this section to plan. So I like to do that. And because we've run out of those checklists, I can use 
I've got the dotted ones left, so let me put that in here. And then I am working on designing some meal planning stickers. So I haven't done that yet. So right now I am just using one of these list boxes and then I'm just repurposing it for a meal plan. Okay, so I've just put down one killy list box and then just checking to see how I did it the week before. And then I'm just using a script sticker and then I like to have a section for Etsy to break out into. And then I think I should have, I've got two checklists left. So I will just do that. And then that leaves me with one. So this is my weekly spread done. I will go ahead and fill all of this in closer to the time. And then the meal plan, all I do here, I just write over the dots. And that's purely because I don't have a meal planning sticker, but that's fine because this is a good size to use that up. And then I will just squeeze in, let me just zoom in to show you. I will just squeeze in a meal here. I am focusing on having a spread that actually is useful to me throughout the day, as in I can refer to it and make sure what I wanted to get done got done. Before this layout, my spreads were really quite chaotic. And let me just show you a quick example. So this is an example of my layout beforehand. It was a functional still, I would say, but I was struggling for space and my day wasn't organized in terms of, I needed the structure between YouTube and home life at this point because I did not have an Etsy shop. And then it sort of just kept going until I realized that I needed a better way of doing it. So when I saw a fellow YouTuber, I will link her channel, Sarah Marie, using this sort of structure in her Erin Condren, I was fully on board and I'm really, really enjoying it. And this is my main planner. I have a content planner, but otherwise this is my main planner and then I have a separate budget planner. So I need this to look good and also be very functional so I can just tell quickly what needs to be done and what has not been done. So I can organize my day, my following day, because I like to check in to see what I've done before I go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this kit. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow my content and you can be notified of any Etsy releases and what I'm up to. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will see when my videos go live. See you guys in the next video. Bye.